No way. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch another episode of Jujutsu Kaisen. In the previous episode, Itadori finally defeated Mahito. But did we get the revenge we wanted? No, because Yuji hasn't defeated him in an instant, but was giving him this extra time to crawl away. Eventually Ghetto appeared, or should I say the Impostor Ghetto. And what is going to happen now? I don't know, because Ghetto, the Impostor Ghetto, hasn't decided what he's going to do. But I think, since he's there, a massive difficult fight is going to unfold because we still don't know who is actually inside of Ghetto and what are his intentions towards Yuji and other sorcerers. One thing for sure, this is going to get really intense. So let's find out what is going to happen. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to help it grow. And if you would like to watch early access, uncut and full length videos, the link is below. You can also join my YouTube channel as a member, get a special badge, shout out, priority on replying to comments and access to emojis. If this doesn't sound tempting, I don't know what does. And now without further ado, let's get on with this episode. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. So many people have lost their lives in those battles. Panda. Oh. He looks so ruthless. Is that Kusaka over there? He's like uh, I don't want to be involved in this battle. <laughs> he does not, does he? Not at all, not even an inch. Oh what's going on? <laughs> Improper, so to say. What the hell? Do you hate me when I am improper? Oh my God. She's abandoning the ship that's sinking. Oh dear. <laughs> Just who is that person? Hmm? Are those memories? Or like fake memories in Chozo's head? Chozo! I miss him. Oh, poor boy. Mm. You guys probably don't remember, but I do like Chozo. Guilty as charged. Are you going to kill him? You killed him. Oh boy, you are confused. Get off. Don't save him. Don't side with him. Wow. wow, he is a man of the world, he did not lie. Damn. Oh my god, the worst course of action not killing him not erasing his existence but absorbing him into your own body so you can use him later and Mahito has reached his final stage just when you think it cannot get any worse right just when you think that the revenge is so close no you won't get to taste it He's using Geto's ability. Using it for his own gain, in his own way, and then reusing those powers in a nasty way. I honestly feel so sorry for Geto somewhere in heaven. It's really awful. I was hoping in the beginning that Geto will survive somewhere inside him and he will try to 
take over his body back, but it seems to be impossible. He is far too gone. There's nothing Gethel can do. And what is happening to Gojo? Like, when is Gojo going to emerge back from this prison realm? Is he there? He's not there on purpose, but he seems to be <laughs> slacking a little bit, in my opinion. Because Gojo is extremely powerful. There's no way that Impostor Ghetto, whoever's inside him, could come up with a good strategy to keep, them, keep him there forever, just to slow him down, you know? This season is so full of action, sadness. It's so brutal. So many things that has happened that I can't believe this is one season. Things like that usually happen in, in more than one season, right? And the opening has all of it in a nutshell. In there. <laughs> ただの低級呪霊のリサイクルだと思っていたか。うん。They were on train and now they're right there in Shibuya, despite what Ma Ma Makamura wanted for them. They're not strong enough. I'm sure of it. They could only slow him down. Why did she have to dye her hair black all the time? That's harsh. Gosh, I hope nothing happens to this girl. With his bare hand. No way. No way, guys. This is beyond. This is going beyond my expectations. Beyond what they can hold off against. <sighs> so he's not a coward after all. He actually came to rescue them. Thank God. But can all of them hold a candle against these guys? It'd be nice to learn that. Chozo? What's going on with him? He's so confused. He's not gonna side with Ghetto, right? Kamonoritoshi, so that's his identity, but... Hundred fifty years old. <gasps> no, I was not expecting that after. So he still believes that Itadori is his brother? But how can he be so sure after seeing what Sukuna have shown him? And where did Sukuna get that information from? Did he just made it up? Because that's such a strange thing to make up. He could have made up anything. Why this? Wow. That's amazing power. Itadori 
So Sukuna showed him the truth to awaken him. I don't know why I'm so happy. I'm so happy though. He's on Yuji's side now, not against him. And he's his real brother. Wow. Honestly, he's such a strong opponent. He can do even that? Damn! But Imposter Ghetto is super strong too. Too strong for Chozo, I suppose so. <sighs> it's like a blood laser. I've never seen something like this before. I was already amazed by the fight between him and Yuji, but this? It shows you a scale of his powers go much beyond that. Wow. It's fascinating. Come on, Chozo. You can do it. He can make a fly with that. Extremely, extremely skilled. Have you seen that? That's amazing! Oh my god, he's so mad! <laughs> he's losing it. It's proper, proper loss in the battle. Come on in! Anything for my brother? <laughs> wow, look at that! Just a scale of it! <laughs> no, mate, this time it is actually blood relative. Um, it just is. <laughs> Everyone wants to be Yuji's brother, right? Wherever it is, you know, it's not like he's holding it in, in his sleeve, you know. <gasps> Ice user? Damn. Well, that's not good. Unless they have a fire razor on their side, which we know they don't. Ooh, ruthless. I bet this guy is thinking, why did I get myself involved? Her hat was pierced, and yet she healed it. Fucking like ancient sorcery or something. I knew you were gonna say that. Yuji saved him! Oh my god! That's so unexpected! Wow. Oni-chan? No, Aniki? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh! They forgot about her. I forgot about her. Mm. But she still stands no chance. <laughs> wow, that is ruthless. She's gonna kill them all. What's going on? Why is my screen black? Oh my god. Who is she? Is that really what you are asking? Oh, he is not happy. He's not happy at all. 
great episode. Guys, I don't know what to think. I have no idea who this lady is. I have seen pictures of her, but I've never actually like looked for spoilers just not to spoil myself an episode. But that was so intense. So Yuji's actually Chozo's brother. I couldn't make this up. Oh well, someone did. The author, Gigi Akutami. Although probably I have spelled it wrong as always. Spectacular animation of the fight. And honestly, if you thought that Chozo was strong, judging by his fight against Yuji, now? That went absolutely beyond my expectations. Imagine if Chozo was actually not tired, not exhausted, and his full powers in there. I bet you anything he would take the imposter getter down. Maybe not though, but he would definitely tire me out. He would definitely take down Mahito. I'm 100% sure of that, even though Mahito has reawakened. Um, the problem is that the imposter getter now has Mahito at his disposal and he can use his techniques, right? Gosh, I really don't know what to think about it, but oh, the episode was really good and I really, really enjoyed watching it. And if you enjoyed watching it with me, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for my future reactions. And if you would like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length, early released, the link to my Patreon is down below. Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen to the link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!